Prove by mathematical induction d by dx of x raised to n is nx n minus 1. This is the result that we use. So I just put in p of 1. p1 first. So p1. So which is derivative d by dx of x raised to 1. That's my left hand side. Hmm. What a derivative of x with respect to 1? That's dx upon dx, which is 1. Yeah. I mean, that doesn't require any yeah. calculus, but dx by dx is 1. Right hand side, if you look at, you have to replace your n by 1. 1 times x to the 0. Which is so, zero. 1 times x raised to 1 minus 1. 1 times x raised to 0, which is 1. Therefore, left hand side is equal to right hand side. Therefore, p1 is 2. Now, assume pk to be true. D by dx. So it doesn't change in D by dx. No, 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 no. Derivative is respect to x only. Okay. Here P oh, yeah, is the proposition. X plus k equals n to the k k k k k x k minus one. K minus one is true. We are assuming this is true. And using this you have to prove that. You have to prove that d by dx x raised to k plus 1 x raised to k plus 1 is equal to k plus 1 x, x raised to, to k. k. Correct now? You are replacing all the k's by k plus 1. Right. Now the proof. Now, what is the meaning of, so we will start with the left hand side. What is the meaning of derivative of x raised to k plus 1? It oh. simply means if you use your law of indices, derivative of x raised to k into x. Oh, x to k times, yeah, x raised to 1, correct. Law of uh, indices. Yeah, a raised to n plus n. Hmm. Now, can we use the product rule? Is that two functions? Can we use the product rule over here? Yes. You will be so, so you keep your v a constant. Take the derivative of u. Plus, keep u a constant. Take the derivative of v. Keep one a constant and take the derivative of the other. Plus, uh, x k constant. So first you keep x a constant, Even take the derivative. Then, then you keep this a constant, take the derivative. Oh, okay. Now, what is d x by d k, x raised to k? Isn't this k raised to x k minus one? Yeah. Correct. Plus x raised to k into times 1. Now this is k times x raised to 1 plus k minus 1 plus x raised to k plus 1 minus 1 cancels out. So x raised to k if you remove common k plus 1 Okay, then you write therefore as p1 is true and by assuming pq to be true we prove pk plus 1 is true, then by principle of mathematical induction. Huh? We got this one, you know? Oh, yes, I got that. Copy. Oh, we got the same thing, but this is what yeah. you have to prove. We got this here. Isn't it? Same thing, then? We have to prove. Yeah. That's statement here. 